The Heart Start Intrepid has two alarm categories, one indicating changes in patient's condition, physiological alarms, and the other device cable issues, technical alarms, may require attention. There are three alarm types, high priority, medium priority, and low priority. A high-priority alarm warns of a life-threatening condition, such as asystole or ventricle fibrillation, and requires an immediate response. The alarm message displays with a red background and sounds like this. A medium-priority indicates a non-life-threatening condition, such as when the heart rate measurement violates the high or low limits and requires a prompt response. The alarm message displays with a yellow background and sounds like this. Low priority alarms indicate a device problem or non-life-threatening condition, such as this SPO2 non-pulsatile message, and they appear in this cyan background and sounds like this. Alarms are also categorized as latching or non-latching. With a latching alarm, visual and audible indicators remain present regardless of whether the alarm condition still exists, and it is not removed until it is silenced and acknowledged by the user, or a higher priority alarm condition occurs. With a non-latching alarm, visual and audible indicators disappear when the condition no longer exists. To respond to an active alarm, press the Smart Select knob once to pause the alarm for the configured pause period while you attend to the patient and press it again to acknowledge the alarm. Setting high and low alarm limits and turning alarms on or off is the same for all measurements, so let's look at how to do these tasks using NBP and SPO2 as examples. To set the high and low limits, press the Smart Select knob. Use the Smart Select knob to highlight and select Measurements Alarms, NBP, NBP Limits, Systolic, and press the Smart Select knob. The high limit appears in this window. Use the Smart Select knob to increase or decrease the high limit. Press the Smart Select knob to set the new high limit. Now the low limit appears. Use the Smart Select knob again to adjust the low limit, and then select to set the new low limit. The current high and low limits for each measurement appear next to its measurement numeric. If you need to turn off an alarm, Start by pressing the Smart Select knob. Navigate to Measurements Alarms, SPO2, and Alarms Off, and press the Smart Select knob. The menu closes, and this icon appears next to the SPO2 measurement, indicating the SPO2 alarm is off.